Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Before you begin, remove the battery and small service door. Removal. Remove the 3 mm P1 Phillips head screw inside the small service door bay. Remove the two 6 mm P1 Phillips head screws on the base enclosure. With the display panel partially open, use a tool to poke through the access hole above the wireless LAN module to unseat the top of the keyboard. Turn the notebook right side up, using your fingers or a flat-bladed non-marring tool. Gently lift up along the top edge of the keyboard to release the tabs at the front of the keyboard. Important, do not lift the keyboard further away from the notebook than necessary to access the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. On backlit keyboard models, gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and remove the keyboard backlight ribbon cable. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the keyboard. Replacement Note, if a new keyboard is being installed, the keyboard ribbon cable must be bent at the appropriate point before installation. There are markings, typically a thin white line, across the breadth of the cable for the different notebooks in the ProBook 400 G3 series. Match the markings on the failed keyboard as your guide. On backlit keyboard models, follow the same procedure for the backlight ribbon cable. Place the keyboard on the top cover so that the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector are accessible. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. On backlit keyboard models, insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Carefully tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover and press the keyboard flat. Press down along the top edge of the keyboard to re-engage the locking tabs underneath. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the two 6mm P1 Phillips head screws to secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Replace the 3mm P1 Phillips head screw inside the small service door bay to secure the keyboard to the base enclosure. Continue the reassembly. Replace the small service door and battery.